this is a coin detection task for which I searched on YouTube a uh, few tutorials but I couldn't find any helpful with the code so uh, first of all I'm going to show that what we are actually trying to do if we run this program you're going to get these four image options now if I put in any option so this one has a few valid coins a few invalid coins and it is going to tell us the monetary value based on the size of the coins as well so let's see how we can achieve this first of all we are going to look at our data so i have these four images as you can see this one has all the valid coins and the other three pictures you can see that these three coins are covered with a blank paper so these are our invalid coins in this picture these four are the invalid coins and in the next picture these two as you can see are our invalid coins so our goal is to identify which of the coins are valid and which of the coins are invalid and then assign the monetary value to the valid coins now these are the steps that we can follow in order to achieve our target first is to remove the noise from the image which we can do by using the gaussian filter second one is we have to segment the invalid coins from the image and then we have to detect all the coins from the image then we can form our methodology in such a way that we can check that if the centroids of the valid images the valid coins that are present if those centroids are within a threshold of an invalid coin then the coin is invalid otherwise the coin will be valid i'll show you after a while and the last step is that we can assign the monetary value based on the regional properties for our first step we are going to take an image that is our test coin image one it has a few valid coins and a few invalid coins and then we are going to apply a gaussian filter on it with any sigma value that you can uh, that is suitable for your data so i'm just simply going to run it and you can see that the image is blurred out and it is noiseless now for the next step we are going to use matlab's image segmenter app you can find it in your apps here and we are going to load the image from our workspace which is the filtered image which is slightly blurred and noiseless so let's open that image and we are going we have to detect these coins which are the invalid coins first so we can do it by setting up a threshold here i go and set manual threshold and i can set the value of 240 i have tried and tested it you might have to do a little bit different than that and create mask so there are a few errors we can remove those by using the morphological operation of open let's open mask and set the radius as 10 you can see that these three coins which were invalid we have a little bit of idea about those so i'm going to apply this close morphology and then export this function as the segment image one function now for the third step which is to detect all the coins we can again use the image segmenter app so image segmenter and load the same image from the workspace and here you can just simple use the global threshold you can see that all of the coins are detected now i can create its mask export this function which is a general binarization of the image so i can generate this function and name it as segment image 2 now that we have made both of the functions segment image 1 and segment image 2 let's quickly copy it into the same file this is segment image 2 
and I'm going to copy it right here. So we have our image as img. I can apply uh, the functions as the invalid coin image is equal to segment image one. And I'm gonna pass the image as this, and I have the valid coin image, or I can call it all coin image. So I get these two images uh, as an output. Now I take the properties of the invalid coins image by using this line of code. Invalid coins, I can use the command region properties, set table, and I can pass this invalid coin image. I'm taking out three properties, centroid, bounding box and equivalent diameter so if I run this you can actually see that what are we getting as a table as an output so we get three centroids and this these are the coordinates of one centroid of the other this is of the third one these are the equivalent diameters of the three centroids and this uh, is the property of the bounding boxes now if I do the same for all coins all coin and I'm going to pass this all coin image that we just made up Now we can see that so these are 10 centroids these are there are 10 coins in our image so there are 10 centroids and similarly 10 diameters now if we compare these two tables we have these three invalid coins centroids as 452, 450 and 650 if we take the first value we can see it in this table that this one 451 and 455 these two are near that point and the third value was 650 so I guess it would be this so in this way we can detect the invalid coins from the all coins image by comparing the centroids of the invalid coins and the all coins image so now in our main code what we are going to do is uh, get all of the coins centroid and make it as a list as the centers firstly we are setting the invalid flag as false and now we are going to check in as the invalid coins centroids and we are going to take the difference of the invalid coin centroids with the valid coin centroids that we have in centers list and we are taking that value as distance which is our threshold I have set the threshold value as 4 so if the distance is less than or equal to 4 then it is going to consider it as an invalid coin and it is going to check this is invalid as true now if the coin is invalid the invalid counter will be increased by 1 and in our output image the bounding box color would be set to red whereas if the coin is not invalid which means that the coin is valid then the valid coins count will be increased by one and the diameter of that coin would be saved in this variable namely diameter in order for the final step 
to assign the monetary value based on the regional properties which is the diameter that we are taking in our case uh, we have this document in which the monetary value for each coin is present and seeing in this image we are going to set the value for each of the coin and in order to do this we have to use MATLAB region analyzer app here you can find it image region analyzer we can load this image of all coins it is a binary image and here we can see that the equivalent diameter for different coins we can get an idea of the range of the equivalent diameter for different coins I can select the diameter and I can see on my image that which one of the coin is corresponding to that value of the equivalent diameter so based on this these values I have set this limits in our main code that if the diameter is greater than 125 and less than 200 it is a 50 cent coin if the diameter is greater than 95 and less than 101 it is a 25 cent coin and I have updated the counters accordingly and then we can just multiply the counts with their monetary value and display it at the end so i'm going to share this main code and the necessary files with you guys via github and the link will be in in description thanks for watching this